Hi there, these comments are for Raphael and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. I'm going to listen to your independent speaking practice test number 253. So the question here is, some people prefer to shop in bulk or go to warehouses that offer cheaper prices but, uh, but have the added monthly charge. Others prefer to shop at a, a traditional store that does not offer a big, maybe, discount. I think you're going to say that, right? Hi there, these comments are for Raphael, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and I'm going to listen to your... It looks like independent speaking task number 270. So the question is, there are two instructor options for your final class. One is strict, gives a lot of homework and expects a lot from students. The other uh, instructor is not as strict and does not give as many assignments. Which instructor would you choose for your final class and why? Okay, here we go. I definitely prefer to shop in bulk because I have a little traditional store in my neighborhood, thus I have to buy a lot of items periodically. Hence, the monthly charge could be divided in each of uh, these uh, items and its final price will not increase significantly. Okay. That's why the first option is financially more convenient than the second, not only due to the initial cheaper prices, but also due to its irrelevance of the monthly charge in uh, financial terms. Okay, you, I don't know, it sounds almost like you're reading this. Now, you can write them down and practice them and all that, but it's not personal enough. You need to give some more specific examples, I think, to help illustrate your point with what you're trying to make. So I think it, it just was a little too formal, not personal enough. I didn't see any specific details in there to really help explain your idea. So I think on this one... You're having some topic development problems. I think overall you have pretty good control of your language use and your delivery. So I'm going to put you at about 3.0 out of 4, 23 points out of 30 on this practice test. All right, let's listen to see how you answered this question, then I'll give you a score. I definitely would choose the second type of instructor. First of all, because by the time of my final class, I will be working in a company as my final internship. Thus, I will not have too much time to do a lot of assignments or to study hard. Se I gotta check your grammar a minute. Right in the beginning, let me see. I definitely would choose the second type of instructor. First of all, because by the time of my final class, I will be working in a company I would say by the time I finished my last class, I would already have been working. So if you want to talk about, um, I, I think in this case you, you, you want to use future perfect, but you're talking about a hypothetical. So then I would have already been uh, working, I might say. As my final leadership. Thus, I will not have too much time to do a lot of assignments or to study hard. Second of all, I prefer the relaxed professor because I could... Uh, I'd say I prefer a more relaxed professor. ...review the syllables of uh, the final class and I realized that its content is a kind of review of all the past day classes. Thus, since I had a great uh, performance in both subjects, there is no necessity, in my opinion, to spend too much time doing a lot of assignments. Instead of that, I could spend my time improving my Excel skills, for example, which could be very useful in my working place in the future. Yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is a pretty good uh, response here. So I think overall, 
Uh, maybe that one language use issue I pointed out, but overall you have pretty good control of your vocabulary and your grammar. Uh, I think delivery was strong. I could understand what you were saying, and you had a fairly clear organization along with appropriate supporting details. So I'm going to put you about 24 to 26 points out of 30 on this, 3.1 to 3.3. Uh, I think it's possible you could get a score of four on this practice test. So, uh, very nicely done on your part. Yeah, hi there, Khaled, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. So, you you just completed Integrated Speaking Practice Test Number Six. Okay, here we go. For the reading and passage, explain the risk of nuclear energy. The reading. Now, this is a tough one, boy. This is the hardest speaking practice test I have. So, very tough. And I think they are both talking about nuclear energy, but if you want to be a little bit better with your main point, you say, well, the reading passage discusses the dangers of nuclear energy, and the listening passage gives an example to illustrate those dangers, you might say. The passage shows that nuclear technology may lead to produce weapons. Meanwhile, the professor says that there is another risk of nuclear technology, which is the accident that might happen. Now, I would spend a little more time talking about the reading passage. Try to spend equal time, so maybe take maybe 20 seconds talking about the reading, and then talk about the lecture, because if you, you talk about the reading in a more complete sense, I'll have a little bit more context. We can understand what the relationship is. And you get an example of Chernobyl's explosion to support his opinion. That was good, though. I like how when you're moving to the lecture, you had a good transition and you showed exactly what the relationship is of the lecture to the reading passage. He also says that this accident has shown to the whole world the catastrophic effects of nuclear technology accidents, which includes killing many people at the time of explosion, causing so many cancers to a lot of workers, and... Um, it caused so much, or it caused so many people to get cancer. Why? From the radioactive fallout from the explosion. So you should probably make that connection, right? They got cancer because they were exposed to radioactivity. To show that the effect of that explosion is not limited to the area surrounding to it, but it goes way beyond that. Okay, so let's take a look here. So overall, as always, your delivery is very strong, very natural, easy to understand what you're saying. You seem to have pretty good control of your language use, but uh, I think you might have been a little bit too basic with some of the vocabulary. You seem to avoid some of the more difficult terms that are mentioned in either the uh, reading or the lecture. Topic development, I think you didn't explain enough about the reading passage so that I could understand what the connection was, so some problems with topic development. Still, it was a pretty good response. Uh, I think some topic development issues are going to put it below 3, so I'm going to put you at 2.83 out of 4, 22 points out of 30 on this practice test. Act, active, activity, activity. Complete, completed, competitive, competitive, humid, humidify, humidifier, dehumidifier, budget, budgeted, budgetary. Marriage patterns in rural Turkey are not simply influenced by endogamous preferences within both villages and kinship groups. Hey, pays, pot, pots, run, runs. Counted, passed, passed, saved, judged, sorted, sifted, planted, circumstances, conditioning, associate, techniques, discussion, re resurrected, consecutive, dysfunctional, retreat, positive, classical, religious, harmony, provide, 
air conditioner, glass cleaner, myself, themselves. 1330, 1440, 1550, 1660, 1770, 1880, 1890. Down went outdoors, break into, take out. The conduct of the conductor was inappropriate. She objected to be to being an object of his affection. Disrespect, interlock, outpace, USA, GPA, CEO, academic, analytical, diversity, fortify, cardiology, discussion, geography, conscious, Canadian, chronological, absent, overseer, Vietnamese, picturesque, Technique, Corbett, Educate, Education, Motivate, Motivation, Operate, Operation, Overrated, He ate it, Position, He fixed it, Assume, Abroom, Cool Bike, Cool Biker, Cool Spiker, The player led the game in the fourth quarter. Mr. Jones is grading his papers today. Can you give me a burger with cheese? She spoke with you. How's your homework coming along? She can go to the school, to the store. She can't go to the store. She can run the whole distance. She can't run the whole distance. She was at his house yesterday. She wasn't at his house yesterday. Jane could talk to other workers. Jane couldn't talk to other workers. Did John go to the last game, to the game last week? John went to the game yesterday. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What are you working on? I'm working on a composition. What kind of composition? It's a history composition. When is it new? It is due Friday morning. There is an advantage and disadvantage to your idea. Did she go on a vacation in the summer? It was the winter when she went on a vacation. That was a great move. I would say it was good. Why did, didn't you return to the book? Why didn't you return the book to the library? You are wrong. I I didn't return the book to the library. I like apples, bananas, oranges, lemons, and grapes. She has a twelve member in her family. She has 12 members. My phone number is 8889002. Did you say 8889002? I want to leave, Johnny. I want to leave, Johnny. I am going to the uh, to the United States. Where? I am going to the United States. Where? 23 foot long sticks. 23 foot long sticks. Where are you going? I am going to Los Angeles. I am going to Los Angeles. Bobby Thompson who lives in my neighborhood is coming is coming to visit tomorrow. Very ordinary looking. Vampire bats weigh about one ounce and have a body which is the size of an adult's thumb. Sir Franz Galton, a cousin of Charles Darwin, was interested in the measurement of intelligence because he wanted to increase it through selective breeding. 
Can you hold up the painting for me? I wore a light sweater to the football game. Maybe you should ask Kenneth. He may know the answer. Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Mohammed and I am Michael, so I, I'm listening to your diagnostic pretest for Speak Choreo Lesson 25. So you're now focusing on the second half of the pronunciation section of my course, right? Yeah, if you can get this figured out, this is where you need to improve. You really need to work on that tone. That is the key your intonation and it really begins with word stress it's word stress then sentence rhythm then intonation and then thought group so you got a lot of things you want to work on right now so based on the pretest here are some lessons that I think are very helpful for you based on your current uh, speaking and pronunciation difficulties of American English lesson number 28 30 31 32 35, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and also lesson number 44. Those are things that uh, I think you should work on. And give me a quick second here. I, I got confused here. I was making an audio thing. I just need to make the recordings to you right now and upload them to Voxipop, right? Okay, hi there. These comments are for Mohammed. So I'm I'm listening to your diagnostic pretest, and uh, there are some lessons I think you want to focus on right now. The main thing for you, you really want to work hard on your intonation. It begins with word stress because in the primary uh, stressed syllable of the word, you need to make that stressed syllable clearer, louder, longer, and higher pitch, which you're not doing right. But once you understand and you can do that, then you go to sentence rhythm, which means you typically want to understand the difference between unstressed and stressed words and so on. So anyway, here are some lessons I think that are going to be helpful for you based on your current uh, speaking and pronunciation abilities. Lesson number 28, 30, 31, 32, 35, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. So work through those lessons. The main goal for you, if there's one thing I want to help you with, it's with your intonation. That is my goal, to kind of help you improve that. Now remember, watch a lot of TV right now, listen to the radio, listen to music, and most importantly, speak English to native speakers as much as you can. And all of these things together will help you to reduce your non-native speaker accent. All right? Lesson 7. Hat, bolt, grind, glue, honor, over, bottle, oak. Lesson 8. Hat, hot. Map, map. Tack, talk. And on. Mac, Mac. Listen, nine. Right, wrong. Right, lie. Lord, loyal. High, pound. Listen, ten. Gate, get. Late, let. Make, met. Late, let. Day, then. Listen, eleven. Meet, met. Cheat, pit. Leap, whip. Seed, set. Eat, eat. Listen to him. Look, look. Black, took. To, go. Cook, cook. Listen to me. Match, match. Chick, sheep. Feature, fisher. Shave, shaft. Cheer, shear. Listen to me. Off, all. Half, half. Fine, fine. Fan, man. Vapor, 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 listen 15, 
how habit who rehash behavior hate batman beaten important ripening attract threaten in 16 major measure fragile frazier legend legend in jean jewel large asia Lesson 17 Cake Kick Sink Sack Game Game Cap Gap Lake Neck Lake Neck Lesson 18 Lane Rear Better Luggage Rock Auto Right Light Committed Lesson 19 Pace Space Flap Flap Cap Cap Lap Lap, pay, pay, listen to me. Lies, lies, zip, zip, zoom, zoom, maze, maze, Lisa, Lisa, listen to me. Multiple, Robert, example, pressure, principal, number, people, philosopher, listen to me too. Volcanism, rhythm, maximum, question. Summer Reason Chash Often Lesson 23 Tip Tip Cart Cart Tight Tight Train Train Fat Fat Team Dream Lesson 24 Bite Bite Grief Breath Teeth Death Throw Bone Or Mercy Hi Michael Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Ali. You're using Hippox as your username at Voxypop, and you just completed my pretest for vowel and consonant sound, so thank you for doing that. Uh, the main thing here is there are some lessons I think you want to focus on to help improve your intelligibility. Uh, first of all, I recommend that you go through all pronunciation lessons at least one time. Second of all, there are some areas you want to focus on a little bit more. Here they are. Lesson number 8, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 23, and also lesson number 24. My name is Adam Lohari. I got my MBA degree from Azmi Islamic Azad University in Iran. And I want to pursue my education and apply for a PhD abroad, actually. Okay. I am thinking about universities in the United States, Australia, and Canada. All right. Uh, I have published several. I published several papers in international journals of marketing, and I'm really interested in services marketing and how to recover failed services. Okay. Uh, I think. That uh, as I want to, do, I want to apply for a PhD program, and most of the universities, universities requirement is mentioned that uh, they need total about a hundred. I want to actually, I I targeted to. Uh, get at least 24 or 25 in speaking section of TOEFL exam. All right. And I think getting such grades is highly correlated with pronunciation and how. You want to say getting such a grade doesn't really work very well. How about getting such a high score, you might say? The question and information. And Conveying information. So I decided to uh, submit your program okay. for my speaking and writing. Got it. Especially speaking and writing. Now, Ali, don't forget uh, my database right now is not working correctly at my website, so email me your full essays right now because they can't be saved at my website. So I've been working on this problem for two days, so hopefully I'll have this problem solved 
in the next day or two. Um, uh, I think I believe that it's better to start the pronunciation. Uh, I hope that uh, I'll get my desired score by through your system and applying your suggestions and recommendations. Thank you so much and sincere. All right. Well, thank you uh, for completing the the uh, pretest. So my job now is to give you some feedback. So you already know based on what I just said. You know specifically what pronunciation lessons you want to focus on the most, right? Now, I always want to give it what's called an intelligibility score right now. So on a scale of 1 to 7, 1 is high beginner of American English and 7 is a near native speaker. I'm going to put you in the middle right now, intermediate. I'm going to put you at high intermediate, 3.8 uh, 3.8 out of 7. So you're not as comfortable as you could be speaking, right? Sometimes you're not sure of the right word to use or the right grammar to use and you do have some pronunciation problems which make it a little bit difficult to understand your idea. So that's my feedback for you. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using English as much as you can. So don't rule out any of the following because they will all help you to get better speaking abilities. Watch movies. First and foremost, try to watch three or four movies a week. Each movie is about two hours long. That's going to be helpful. Secondly, uh, listen to the radio, right? If you have talk radio, it's even better, not just music, but listen to both. Listen to like news radio and then also music radio. Again, pay attention to how the speakers are communicating. And also find opportunities to use English as much as you can. That's also going to be very important. All right, so thank you for completing this particular pretest. Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Ravender, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons. At the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT, I'm going to listen to your integrated speaking number 20. The lecture professor explains the three tools related to the level formation. Four tools, tooling, super seven, uh, I'm having some trouble the first what? In the lecture, the professor explains the three theories related to the level formation. Okay. First two, the first theory of uh, conductivity is the strongest and most destructive. It occurs when the air is increased and there is the high speed of the air and a sudden change in direction. And the three processes take place, the disturbing, stretching, and squeezing. The next theory is the button down theory, where it happens when the uh, cool air from the pedestal collides the warm air, and uh, there is an uh, up direction of uh, the thunder storm. This is known as the music called form. The third is the next thing, which is the least common. And it occurs with a sharp change in wind speed and direction. Uh, this is the least, um, this is the least destructive. So some some minor pauses and hesitations in there. So you had a little bit of trouble as you got near the end of your response. Okay, a little bit awkward at the end. You didn't quite, you, you kind of finished, but a little bit abruptly. So I think some delivery problems. Uh, I'd recommend uh, really watch a lot of movies right now, talk to native speakers, listen to music. Uh, you can re revisit the pronunciation lessons in my course if you want, but you need to solve your delivery issues. Uh, language use overall pretty good. I think topic development, you had a pretty complete accurate response, but you had some trouble trying to end the response. Your score here, I'm going to put you at 2.83 out of 4. 22 points out of 30 on this practice test.
Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Shrikant. And I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And I'm getting ready to listen to your pronunciation practice here. So let's see how you did. Let me go back, listen to it. So I'm looking at the sentences right now. So if I remember correctly, uh, you're focusing on the H sound, the glottal stop sound, and the T sound. So let's see how you're doing with these specific sounds. That's the key, right? Actually, okay, let me go here. Let's take a look at them. So we'll start in the beginning. What's the point of the one? One. In particular, the advantage of the You can pronounce that the advantage. In particular, the advantage. No, of the advantage of rehab on a horse's retina. 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 You're not really pronouncing that correctly. Smart eyesight of a being blinded by lightning. Okay. The health and mortless hand was lost because his company was not able to provide a more lucrative health care policy. The word is lucrative. Was not able to provide him a lucrative health care policy. To care, cover the surgery. Three. To cover the surgery. Consequently, the high cost of the electricity was so huge. The investment in the company was the entire part of God. Okay. Four. Bringing happiness to all who read that the California God now, who no longer be brought to extinction. The footers, footnotes on the bottom of the page were perhaps the most fruitful part of the research paper. Okay. Five. Directors. Okay, so let's go to number five and we'll see how you did so. Your intelligibility on this is not good. I'm having a lot of trouble understanding uh, your reading here. Uh, sort of gossip. Department sort. Okay, so what I want to do now, let's practice these together one more time. So let's start with number one. In particular, the advantage of rehab on a horse's retina is that the horse remotely has a chance of obtaining full eyesight after being blinded by lightning. Number two, the health in Motley's hand was lost because his company was not able to provide him a lucrative health care policy to cover the surgery. Number three, consequently, the high cost of the electricity was so huge that the investors in the company were entirely caught off guard. Number four, bringing happiness to all who read that the California condor would no longer be brought to extinction, the footnotes in the bottom of the page were perhaps the most fruitful part of the research paper. Number five, intellectuals, however, shop at Gottschalk's department store. All right, so this one, uh, for whatever reason, this was very hard for you. Uh, you need to really pay attention, uh, Shrikant, when you're reading the sentences, you want to take care that you're pronouncing all vowel and all consonant sounds in those words because if you don't then we will have trouble understanding what you're saying all right so thank you for completing uh, that particular uh, exercise Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Shahad, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. So you're answering uh, independent speaking practice test number seven. So which of the two do you prefer when exercising, running or riding a bicycle? Well, for me, as an exercise, I prefer running over riding a bike, uh, first of all because it is healthier. Uh, I remember watching a TV show talking about how running is 
um, beneficial for your circulatory system, your cardiac health, your kidney health, and also your skin. Good example! Wow! That was good. I like the specific vocabulary words you're using there. Besides that, running is safer because you're going to use the same. Not because you, because I or because the athlete is going to. So don't use the you point of view in these types of speaking tasks. In fact, you do not need to use the you point of view in any of the independent or integrated speaking or writing tasks. Um, which is not as riding a bike. Well, in, in riding a bike... Which is not as dangerous as riding a bike, you may you say. Going to the sidewalk, you have to drive near cars, so it is dangerous. So that's why I think it is safer and healthier. All right, overall you had a few problems with vocabulary language use a little bit. However, you had a, a fairly clear organization, I think. You're doing fairly well with your delivery on this one. I like how the recording is uh, very clear, so I think delivery not bad, maybe a few minor language use issues. Uh, I'm going to put you at about 2.6 out of 4, 20 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Okay, so you're doing uh, independent spe or integrated speaking task number 4, right? So let's go back to the beginning. I'm having some trouble hearing this one. I don't know why. Let me make sure it's turned up all the way. So, okay, here we go. Okay. Good introduction. Okay, so I think overall that's a pretty good response. I, I, I don't know why I had some trouble hearing what you were saying, but other than that, I think it was organized, you had pretty good delivery, good language use, topic development. So uh, I'm going to put you at about 26 points or higher, I think on this 3.3 or higher, I think that this would score very well on the TOEFL test. So very nicely done on your part.